I'm Patrick Marie. I'm the scientific director for the Center of uh, Research and Expertise in Social Gerontology and the lead researchers of the V Team, which is a team devoted to issues related to social exclusion in multiple dimensions of aging. And I'm also a professor of political science at Concordia University. So the book, Getting Wise About Getting Old, Debunking, debunking Myths About Aging, actually came about for growing frustration with researchers in the sense that a lot of the depiction of aging that we find in the media seem to be overblown. So in many cases, we tend to either read about seniors that are running the marathon and you know, while breaking new, uh, new records with regards to fitness and activity, or on the other hand, we end up with the traditional depiction of somebody who's very old and frail and is really in need of constant assistance. Well, the reality is far more complex. Aging is a very uh, multi-dimensional process. It's actually the age category where there are more disparities with regards to health status, but with also with regards to other socioeconomic indicators. So in fact, it is very, very difficult to depict a truly aging experience because it just doesn't exist, there's just so many of them. So as a result, a group of researchers, we decided that we should write a book about talking about what are some of the common myths that we find in the media and then really analyze them further and give them some nuance. So in many cases, we find it was clearly overblown urban legends. In other cases, we discovered, well, yes, there might be a parcel of truth with some of these myths, but the reality is far more complex. Uh, so that, as a result, uh, is, was a, a commitment from everyone involved in the production of this book, to even the editors, uh, that to make sure that this book would be accessible and enjoyable uh, to read. As the launch of this book got closer and closer to us, we thought it was very important to find other tools to communicate these myths and then make sure that we can even broader in the public. And that's part of the, the idea was to create short video capsule that would be accessible to even broader public and would also incentivize people that maybe, whoa, this is some, an issue that I never thought about before. Maybe I should read more about this. And then therefore, of course, you can go and buy our book. The capsules based on the chapters will be released over the next few months and you can watch them on the YouTube account of Crejace.